All Academy. Always with you. ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಆತ್ಮೀಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳೇ ಆಲ್ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿ ಚಾನೆಲ್ಗೆ ತಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಆತ್ಮೀಯವಾದಂತಹ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಈ ವಿಡಿಯೋದಲ್ಲಿ ವಿಶ್ವೇಶ್ವರಯ್ಯ ತಾಂತ್ರಿಕ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯದ ಬಿ ಬಿಟೆಕ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕಲ್ ವಿಭಾಗದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಸೆಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುವಂತಹ ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಥರ್ಮೋಡೈನಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಪತ್ರಿಕೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಮಾಡೆಲ್ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಪತ್ರಿಕೆಯ ಒಂದು ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಅನ್ನ ಈ ವಿಡಿಯೋದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗೋಣ ಸೊ ತಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ತಿಳಿದಾಗೆ ಒಟ್ಟು ಐದು ಮಾಡ್ಯೂಲ್ಗಳಿಂದ ಹತ್ತು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಪ್ರತಿ ಮಾಡೆಲ್ ನಿಂದ ಎರಡು ಮೇನ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಗಳಿರುತ್ತೆ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳು ಯಾವ್ದಾದರೂ ಐದು ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ಮಾಡೆಲ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಮಾಡೆಲ್ ನಿಂದ ಎರಡು ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ್ದಾದ್ರು ಒಂದು ಮೇನ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ನ ಆಪ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಐದು ಮೇನ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ನ ನೀಡಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಗೆ ಸೊ ಮೊದಲನೇ ಮಾಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಒನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಮತ್ತು ಟೂ ಮೇನ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಎ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಡಿರೈವ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಥರ್ಮಲ್ ಎಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಫಾರ್ ಏರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಡಿಸಲ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರೇಷಿಯೋ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೊ ಎಂಟ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಗೆ ಕೇಳುವ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಪಿ ವಿ ಮತ್ತು ಟಿ ಎಸ್ ಡೈಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಹಾಕಬೇಕು ಡೀಸೆಲ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಗೆ ಅದರ ನಂತರ ಕಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರೇಷಿಯೋಗೆ ಕೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನೋಡಿ ದಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ರೇಷಿಯೋ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದರೆ ಆ ಡೆರಿವೇಶನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಎಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿದೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಎಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ರೇಷಿಯೋ ಸೊ ಈ ಡೆರಿವೇಶನ್ ನ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳು ನೋಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರೇಷಿಯೋ ಇದೆ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಕಾಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ರೇಷಿಯೋ ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲಾನು ನೀವು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಬರೆದು ಡೆರಿವೇಶನ್ ನ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಏಟ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಟೂ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಟಿ ಎಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಿ ವಿ ಡೈಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಗು ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ರಿಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ ನ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಮುಂದಿನ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಒನ್ ಬಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಏರ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದ ಕಾಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಇನ್ ಬೋತ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ರೋಪ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಪಿ ವಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಟಿ ಎಸ್ ಡೈಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ದ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಏರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೀಸೆಲ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೊ ನೋಡಿ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳಿದಾರೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಮತ್ತು ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ಗೆ ಸೇಮ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಮತ್ತು ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ನ ಏರ್ ಮತ್ತು ಇದು ಆಟೋ ಮತ್ತು ಡೀಸೆಲ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ನ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅದರ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ನೀವು ಎರಡೂದು ಒಂದು ಪಿ ವಿ ಮತ್ತು ಟಿ ಡೈಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಹಾಕ್ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಪಿ ವಿ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿದೆ ನೋಡಿ ಸೊ ಎಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಡೀಸೆಲ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಎಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಆಟೋ ಸೈಕಲ್ ನ ಎಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಕೂಡ ಬರ್ದಿದ್ವಿ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ನೀವು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಪಿ ವಿ ಡೈಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಹಾಕಿ ಎಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾನು ಬರೆದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ವೇಟೇಜ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಕಂಪಾರಿಸನ್ ಬರೀಬೇಕು ಯಾಕೆ ಆಟೋ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ದನ್ ದ ನೋಡಿ ಡೀಸೆಲ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಅದನ್ನ ಬರೀಬೇಕು ಏರಿಯಾ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಪಿ ವಿ ಡೈಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ವಿಚ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆಟೋ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ದನ್ ದ ಡೀಸೆಲ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ರೇಷಿಯೋ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಏರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಎಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಆಟೋ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ದನ್ ದ ಡೀಸೆಲ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಇದೇ ಕಂಪಾರಿಸನ್ ಹೌದಾ ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ವಿತ್ ಪಿ ವಿ ಡೈಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನ ಫೋರ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಕೇಳಿದಾರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ 
so co sorry compression ratio r already got it 15 and the heli substitute money you'll get a v2 now you have identified p1 v1 p2 p2 now p2 is equals to p3 and cutoff ratio percentage of cutoff ratio other than identify mod bodu then with the help of that you will get a v3 then here standard efficiency 59.7 birthday already you have the equation here then mean effective pressure with the help of uh, the pressure ratio and cutoff ratio you can identify the mean effective pressure so one more very important uh, dear students the values for example uh, efficiency 59.7 percent name the 58 barbodo so hagagi confusion agbedi nano decimal points na jasti to gondra karna atwa nan kadme to gondra salpa vary agate so plus or minus there will be some allowances so yella points na new identify madri so you have got the answer uh, pressure p1 v1 yella to kili 1 1 marks distribute na madri akandre avru adnu kelidare they have asked all the the pressure and temperature efficiency 1 mark so so he gave mean effective one mark so then the power developed other power developed in Kildare when it is having 400 working strokes and the Kildare with respect to that you can identify the power of the engine okay the next question is uh, the next question is model 1 line 2a Describe how frictional power of an engine is determined using Morse test. No, almost uh, a model question paper mele, Morse test mele one question na dare. So we can expect any one question from on this particular theory section. More test dare, it is, uh, they, they have mentioned directly as in a more test. So put the diagram and explain. More test you already label kuda madrikara some idea irate easily you can explain in a better way so yen madta 8 marks andre 4 marks diagram of 4 marks explanation ge need irtare so mundina prashne model uh, 2 1 alle ne 2b 12 uh, marks ge keliruvanta prashne in a test of 3 uh, three cylinder four stroke internal engine question thumba dodide uh, so you can get this question in the the model question paper 2b question so this solution in textbook is easily available even in notes but I have taken the reference as in a textbook so indicated power can with the help of formula uh, so then you will get around 29.65 kilowatt then brake power you can identify BP that is 28.747 mechanical efficiency is nothing but BP by IP so you get a mechanical efficiency of 96.9% then indicated thermal efficiency that is around 29.6 for you then heat balance sheet draw mark because that's a very important part of this particular example heat balance sheet act because they have clearly mentioned also draw the heat balance sheet now for the heat balance sheet so you need amount of heat supplied amount of uh, the heat equivalent to indicated power what is the heat friction developed during the friction heat loss Yellano accumulate muddy, you have to balance the heat balance sheet. So the kagi, so each and every steps it is clearly mentioned. You can note it down that. So then this is a heat balance sheet. So here is the heat balance sheet na new hack pikagate for 2B question in model 1. Okay. So even e heat balance sheet go marks I think it will be given for two marks and remaining. Uh, Ipratyon steps go matu Ipratyon values go one one marks na nidal para. So next moving to the module two. Module two nali three matu four main question barate. Ega three A question in noda na. With a neat PV and TS diagram draw the efficiency of Brighton cycle anta hele dare. So they have clearly mentioned put the diagram then explain the efficiency of Brighton cycle. Okay. Efficiency there. So then you can simplify those equations so only six marks so generally i think two marks for your diagram then remaining four marks for your uh, derivation ke needed tar mundina prashne with a neat sketch uh, and ts diagram explain the regeneration increases the thermal efficiency of in a gas turbine how regeneration nodi regeneration thermal efficiency henge increase madutte anta helidare so for that you have a diagram okay explanations but you have to explain it very neatly okay the exhaust gas 
lot of heat as their temperature nodi exhaust gas nalli nimgella gurtu so it consists of some amount of heat and temperature so this temperature is far above from the ambient temperature as the heat of exhaust gas can be used to heat the air coming from the compressor which is already nandra atmosphere indra yenu enter agutala compressor adana matte heat maadabodu which reduces the mass of in a fuel supplied in the combustion chamber so this is this method we call as a regenerative method and with the help of this the thermal efficiency is increased because the mass of in a fuel supplied in the combustion chamber is reduces that's why it increases the thermal efficiency of regenerative cycles so idanna explain maadbeku so here three marks for your diagram and three marks for your explanation or else two marks for explanation uh, two marks for diagram and four marks for explanation ee rithi nu marks na distribute maadirtare so next coming to the module 2 nalline 3c question nodana gas turbine plant mel kelidare so you need to identify the isentropic efficiency draw the ts diagram anta helidare you can easily draw the ts diagram so ee ondu uh, first isentropic uh, efficiency given values barkondidini 18 degree so you have to convert it into kelvins efficiency of compressor turbine kottidare p1 matte p2 kottidare then uh, adiabatic index that is 1.4 they have given then uh, t3 value kottidare which is 650 which is nothing but 973 kelvin then also they have given a pressure drop where the pressure drop is 0.086 anta bar anta kottidare now with respect to that you need to identify all the important aspects of this particular problem so first nam en madona t t2 es kandu hidibeku that is uh, isentropic compression temperature then actual temperature with the help of efficiency formula dan sigutte which is nothing but 466.59 then pressure at the combustion chamber kandu hidibeku which is nothing but uh, the p3 is equals to p2 minus the pressure drop so we will get it around 4.1 for 114 then isentropic compression temperature t4 es we will get it around 600 and 6 illi the formula then again actual temperature is nothing but the, the actual the turbine efficiency and the, the t3 minus t4 divided by t3 minus t2 with respect to that we'll get the t4 temperature now the efficiency of turbine is equals to t3 minus t4 divided by t3 minus t4s and the isentropic so with respect to that we have a t4 ts as well as t3 value already given so substitute all the value we will get the efficiency around 26.28 nodi again i am telling don't go with an exact value there will be a some plus or minus depending upon the decimal points you will consider now moving ahead in the module 2 that is 4a question state the working difference between the turbojet and the turbo propeller engine nodi turbojet matu turbo propeller engine na difference kelidare so in better way what i can do is you can draw the both the diagram and illi iruvanta differences na baridbidi so you will get some around 6 marks if you write 6 differences 6 points 4 differences 4 points aa rithi nimge sigutte next uh, with a with a neat sketch explain the principle of a rocket propulsion anta kelidare nodi rocket propulsion ke ee diagram haki ee tara it's better you draw this diagram idu nimge understand aagli anno kaagi helidini so ee diagram na haki so nodi rocket propulsion is defined as the force that is used by the rocket to take off from the ground to atmosphere nimge ella gortu so already you know that ee propulsion work ad en agutala it is depends on the newton's third law idu important agutte ee word in your explanation based on the newton's third law it the fuel forcefully ejected from the exhaust such that the equal and opposite reaction occurs kelagade thrust push madirantha ee kelagade hing thrust push madodrantha obviously it start to move in a upward direction thrust kelagade irutte so adagi adra opposite direction alli body move aagta start agutte next uh module 2 nalli 4c question 
gas turbine plant mele kelidare again you have to ask identify the efficiency and everything so it, almost the, the previous one question it's similar to that so identify the t2 then uh, t2s then uh, identify t4s then actual temperature t4 identify madbeku then heat supplied you have to identify then the total work done formulas ella illi neat a kottidini then again identify the efficiency so idr jothege yen kelidara avaru one more they have added that the effectiveness of regeneration is 0.6 anta helidare then again you have to do recalculation by considering the effectiveness as 0.6 heat regenerative at 0.6 na consider maadkonde add maadbekagutte so then you have to identify the 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 efficiency overall efficiency of regenerative system so that comes around 30% okay so pratiyon steps nu neeta kottidini so students you can take a screenshot of this numerical and try to solve it next moving ahead with in module 3 so module 3 nalli 5 matte 6 questions barutte so 5a with a neat schematic di ts diagram explain the expression for isothermal efficiency and the rank in cycle anta helidare so efficiency ts diagram na hakidini and the this, the block diagram is also have drawn and efficiency you have to explain it illide nodi efficiency is equals to h1 minus h2 divided by h1 minus h4 this is the efficiency of work or sorry efficiency of thermal efficiency in the rank in cycle so six marks ge so they have asked with a neat schematic diagram so you will get two marks or three marks for this ts diagram and boil uh, the the block diagram then remaining four or three marks for the, the the efficiency equation now moving ahead uh, in the module 3 itself that is 5b with a neat diagram explain the effect of boiler pressure and the condenser pressure on the rankin cycle performance and so so how this condenser pressure and the boiler pressure affects on the rankin cycle performance and so so in this you can easily get it in any of the textbook as well as in our notes also we have given it so so is not a diagram so that is a ts diagram main that shows the effect on the boiler with the help of boiler pressure and the 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 ranking cycle next uh module 3 now if fifth c is a numerical so again as the boiler house um, so question is there so i'll try to explain directly it's on a ranking cycle is there so the ranking cycle efficiency nodi case one and even under when the it is 85 percent of dry there and another case when the steam is superheated and the inlet temperature is 37 degrees celsius one though dry steam another one is a superheated steam so each and every steps i have given uh, very neatly here you can take a screenshot and you can solve it uh, then the ranking cycle efficiency without uh, that is with respect to 85 percent of dry turbine nest birth around 14.9 or about 15 and the, you can consider when the, that is case 2 when it is the steam is superheated in that case uh, efficiency comes around 31 so it is important agate. final conclusion you also you can write it that uh, when the steam is superheated we will get a better efficiency on the bari so this question is asked for 8 marks little bit lengthier compared to so 8 marks kadmi and tan kontini question ge might be 10 marks kod bodo ni final question paper nali next moving ahead uh, with the model 3 itself that is 6a why Carnot cycle is not a practical for the steam power plant and explain briefly you notice know, the same question is asked in the model one on the nima model question paper alone who killed in the model question paper nalo. so other car you will eat yes diagram hack back at the yaki Carnot cycle now nah, oh, power plant steam power plant only practically not consider mada kaga the lanta head there other explanation neat agile koti then you can write it uh, very neatly it asks for six marks so two marks for your pv and ts diagram and remaining four marks for your explanation next 
with a neat schematic and the TS diagram, briefly explain the regenerative system power cycle, vapor power cycle with a single open feed water heater. Derive the expression for its thermal efficiency there. So here is an a diagram. So six marks a three marks for your diagram and three marks for your efficiency. Okay, e efficiency diagram na identify mark better. Next again, uh, eight marks a clear on the person. So again, it is based on the ideal Rankine cycle. Okay, with us superheat and reheat uh, on that concept. The numerical is asked for eight marks. So you need to identify the thermal efficiency, mass flow rate, and the specific heat consumption. Now here is an a step. Note down all the important values. Okay, these are the important value. Either you can use a Molier chart or uh, and uh, compile the exact values. Now while taking the the values from the Molier table or Molier chart or a steam table, some values might get differentiated among yourself. So hagagi yaudhar itya confusion agbar do. Now state one at eight bar and eight uh, point seven pressure ge it is mentioned. So our values ge you have to identify the H one S one. So then uh, x value identify mark be kagate. Then so you will get H2 which is nothing but HF plus X2 into HFG values kagate. So these all are HF and HFG values. You have to take it from the steam table. So only I'll explain the formulas. So X ge formula S4 minus SF divided by SG minus SF. Then uh, the heat added is nothing but H1 minus HF1. Okay, then heat rejected is H4 minus HF4. Uh, then uh, work done is equals to H1 minus H2. Again, turbine 2 is equals to H3 minus H4. The net work is equals to W turbine 1 plus W turbine 2. And efficiency is equals to work net divided by heat supplied at 1 and heat supplied at so then add muddy total heat supplied will get around 81 percent when uh, when we use it as a normal uh, with a super heat similarly if you uh, need to determine the mass flow rate for this one and specific state steam consumption identify which comes around 0.25 kg per kilo watt per hour so this is the final answer for the numerical six so you can take a screenshot little bit uh, lengthier okay now moving ahead with the model four what are the thermodynamic and physical properties of a good refrigerant so i have listed out both thermodynamic properties as well as physical property thermodynamic property li boiling point evaporator critical temperature latent heat barate. physical property at least specific volume specific heat thermal conductivity viscosity you can explain it six marks three marks for thermodynamic property three marks for physical property next coming ahead with a 7b that is uh, explain the working principle of ammonia vapor absorption refrigeration system this is a diagram for ammonia vapor absorption refrigeration and this is a explanation so three marks for diagram and three marks for explanation next uh model four nally or uh, eight marks uh, which is on evaporator and condenser mele prashne there so you need to identify the mass flow rate of ammonia coefficient of performance of plant and power input in kilowatt as well as ton of ice at 10 degree minus 10 degree celsius produced from the water you know identify already all given values now it's very important to draw this ts and ph diagram very that is temperature and uh, entropy and temperature and enthalpy diagram important agate. then note down all the values uh, from the table okay h1 h2 h3 value table in the tagondo now you have to identify the h2 now calculate h2 then you need to identify uh, you have the formula to identify s2 then temperature you will get it t2 is around 383 
temperature e equation solve maadadaga then similarly you need to next mass flow rate equation then you will get mass flow rate around 0.032 kg per second coefficient of performance that is h1 minus h4 divided by h2 minus h1 which comes around 4.2 then power input that is m into wc that is compression work so you will get it around 8.197 kilo joules per second then ton of ice produced that's very uh, tricky one adun kuda solve maadbekagutte here is an steps to solve that one and it will comes around 6.57 tons per day so this question is asked for 8 marks so each and every steps ke 8 marks sigutte along with that t you know ts and ph diagram no haakbekagutte next moving ahead with a module 4 itself that is 8a show the following process on a psychometric chart that is sensible heat sensible cooling adiabatic humidification and cooling so here are the diagram this is a uh, sensible heating and or sensible cooling this is for heating this is for cooling nodi sensible heating nalli ne ide ide so one sensible heating this is sensible cooling then next one cooling with dehumidification cooling with dehumidification ge illi ide okay cooling with dehumidification ge diagram then adiabatic humidification then that is heating and humidification these are the diagrams next with a neat sketch describe the working of summer air conditioning system for hot and dry weather anta helidare so this is a diagram and this is a uh, the uh, the there is the omega into or w into nrt diagram so with the help of this uh, you need to explain the the air conditioning system for hot and dry weather so illi 4 marks nimge diagram irutte then 4 marks for your explanation a numerical is asked here uh, for 8 marks okay so illi the complete uh, numerical you can also get it from the model question paper and here is a solution ee diagram na hakbekagutte ee uh, numerical ge then from the steam table nodi at 20 degree ge value tagobeku then you will get pw3 as 1.2865 kilo pascal then p3 value pa3 sigutte then w3 you will get it around 0.008032 then at 2 degree celsius now at 2 degree celsius same identify all the values now w3 minus w1 you will get it around 3.612 into 10 raised to minus 3 then uh, va3 that is ra into t3 divided by pa so you will get it around 0.84 meter cube per kg of dry air now spray water so they asked what is the amount of spray water used that is 0.043 kilo kg per meter cube of dry air is required now the finally we have to identify the temperature that is which comes around 10.516 degree celsius the temperature at which air must be heated so that is nothing but uh, 10.61 degree celsius so this question is asked for 8 marks each and every steps will get 1 1 marks and also it is important to draw this diagram now finally we are at the module 5 so where you will get 9 and 10th main question 9th question explain the following terms referred uh, in the air compressor that is volume volumetric efficiency adiabatic efficiency and mechanical efficiency here are the the definition explain them and write the formulas also for that next derive the expression for the work done in a reciprocating air compressor with a clearance volume anta helidare so it's a simple uh, straight forward question reciprocating work done na identify maadbeku so here is a work done for reciprocating compressor with a clearance volume and diagram na hakbekagutte so 6 marks ik kelidare i think it's 6 marks it's bit less so probably 8 marks ik kelbodu nimma final question uh, paper nalli now 9c numerical is asked okay 
So all the given values to go back to P1 is one bar P2 is seven bar T1 is 27 degree Celsius, which is given, which is nothing but 300 Kelvin efficiency of uh, mechanical efficiency is given that is 85 percent which is nothing but 0.85 then n is given that is speed is given that is 300 rpm and efficiency of turbine is 90 percent so with respect to all these value first identify the compression ratio which comes around 7 then with uh, as it is given that is uh, PV raised to 1.3 it's already mentioned it works on the law on PV raised to 3 equals to constant then with the help of that we can identify the V1 okay as V2 is given now pressure indicated pressure we can identify with the help of the formula n divided by n minus 1 into P1 V1 divided by 16 into n divided by mechanical efficiency now isothermal efficiency is equals to isothermal work divided by adiabatic work now in order to identify isothermal work so we have to first use this formula then identify the isothermal work then adiabatic work will isothermal work will get it around uh, 374 34.76 and uh, adiabatic work will get it around 3.24 kilowatt which is nothing but 3243 watts now efficiency uh, is a, substitute this value and you will get the efficiency okay now coming ahead so you have to identify the the value of the dimension cylinder dimensions you have to identify but they have given the ratios stroke and bore ratio they have given in terms of uh, 1.5 to 1 then uh, with a uh, volumetric efficiency is equals to pi by 4 into p2 square that is four into stroke length now you will get vcs 0.2 then uh, with the help of b3 square that is uh, solving this equation we will get b value as 0.55 meter now stroke length which is already given is equals to 1.5 into bore so then you will get it 0.85 so these are the dimension for this one now moving ahead in model 5 that is discuss the various types of nozzle explain why nozzles are made convergent or convergent divergent so these are the types of nozzle six marks okay and uh, you need to explain why these they are made convergent or divergent and the explain for that you will have a two marks and remaining four marks next derive the expression for critical pressure ratio which gives the maximum discharge through the nozzle not a normal uh, discharge killer they have asked in terms of critical pressure ratio which gives the maximum discharge okay now what is a critical pressure you need to define it what is a the the critical pressure ratio anila define maadi you have to identify the the maximum discharge okay next calculate the throttle and exhaust diameter identify maad because that is 10c question now determining the all the points at uh, from the steam table steam table mail intra yalla new points na note down maadko bhi kagate so here is to calculate the enthalpy drop formula h1 minus h2 now calculate the required cross sectional area anthe hildare so that is m value identify maad bhi kagate now the where the volume at theoretical throat volume equation ide then AT values a formula this is a formula now identify all these values and you will get the the final answer now throat diameter and the exhaust throat diameter exhaust diameter you will get it around 0 0.27 and 0 0.18 so this is the our uh, the answer okay so steps the nodi these are i i personally suggest all the student that 
whatever values we solve person to person it will vary because when we consider the decimal points even one decimal point also changes your final value so try to solve on your own don't say that if somebody is written some answer you don't correct it try to follow the steps and do the calculation on your own so hope dear students uh, even though ಮಾಡೆಲ್ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಪತ್ರಿಕೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ತಿಳ್ಕೊತೀನಿ ಈ ವಿಡಿಯೋನ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸ್ನೇಹಿತರಿಗೆ ಕೂಡ ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಮತ್ತು ಇನ್ನೂ ಏನಾದರೂ ನಿಮಗೆ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳಿದ್ದರೆ ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಆ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳಿಗೆ ಉತ್ತರ ನೀಡುವಂಥ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನವನ್ನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆನ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಬಟನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ದ ಬೆಲ್ ಐಕಾನ್ ಟು 